Hello YouTubers, welcome back to a late update. Um, I'm in kind of a long update, just so let me guys know quick. I'm gonna go through it as fast as possible, or fast as possible, so I might be talking a little fast. But anyway, first we're gonna start off with the engine number 4005 City of Rochester, which should be, uh, the name should be Larry Pressler on the side, not City of Rochester. Um, it's a custom engine my buddy made for me uh, a few years ago. And I'm getting the real 4005, so I thought, why not just sell this to make some money to get that one. Um, I'm getting the Atlas one, which I'll go over a little bit later. Anyway, it's a nice engine. It's really detailed, actually, what he's done to it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, like, the Dakota Minnesota and Eastern is a teeny small engine. It's not a big deal. Um, the back is highly detailed. Um, let's see what else. Other side here. Um, this engine's not a bad engine. Uh, it runs pretty good. I could put it on the track for you guys real quick. I think it's on now. Okay, and I'll so, see it runs here, and um, put it on number two. Mm -hmm. It runs pretty smooth, actually. Um, but it does need a wheel cleaning. It does need a little bit of a wheel cleaning, as I can show you underneath. It's been sitting for a while. So, it has a little bit of gunk on the wheels, but anyway, if you buy this engine, which I have it on eBay at $25, and it has two bids on it, from, um, it has two bids on it from two different bidders, and, uh, but if you buy this engine, and if you, uh, put some handrails on it, I think it would be a really nice engine, especially to give someone that, uh, likes to me and just paint a little white stripe on here, and, uh, these decals are not, um, I didn't put the decal solvent on I actually put the uh, city of Rochester on each side, but um, I didn't put the decal solvent on it, so the decals can just come off. It's not the 405, because he put that on, he put decal solvent on. And how do I know, some may ask, um, because I put the city of Rochester one on, so, and that one didn't come off. Anyway, all the number boards I have new numbers on them. The DME. Front is black, it should be white, so that's incorrect. I think it's black. But the back is correct, so anyway, it has fake digits and stuff like that. Um But it's on eBay right now, so how do you get to this? Um you can go to my about section of my YouTube channel and I should have links there and one should be eBay. And if you cannot find that just go on eBay and type in HL scale D M and E and it should pop up. It has like three days left on it, two or three days, so anyway that's all for that. Next we're gonna move on. Um this is D M and E number seven zero zero three, which I'm gonna get custom painted up this weekend. Um at the Menominee train show. It's not gonna get painted there, there's no one to paint it there. Um, I got a friend Don Schultz that'll paint it up for me. So uh He's gonna paint it up for me in Damini 7003. It's an old electric motor that I patched out a while back. I think I, I got this engine a few months ago. And on the layout, it's a really nice, strong motor. But, you know, you obviously expect from Athern. Um, so it's a really nice engine. It's a Genesis, too. Let's see, here's the Genesis locomotive. So. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Uh, seven zero zero or four zero zero three. I'm sorry. Um, this is the Atlas line from two thousand six. If you guys didn't know, and um, I'm gonna be getting four zero zero five out of this line, and which is pretty awesome because I don't have all three of them. Or four zero zero four. I'm sorry. Gosh. But I'll be getting that engine, which is the city of Dutch Center, so that'll be fun. I'll be getting that in July or so. 
And uh, I know these engines are really expensive and stuff, so um, take really good care of them. And when I bought these used for $60, the guy just didn't take that bad. You know, he didn't do anything bad to them, honestly. Um, all the details for these engines are still in the box ready to put on, um, which I'll eventually do that one. I know I could put them on correctly without breaking anything or bending anything 100%. Uh, those engines made a lot, so anyway, I'm gonna get this guy decaled or detailed handrails and crap like that. Um, hopefully, soon. I don't know who will do it. I'm gonna ask my friend Don, I'll bring this in the train show and see if he can do it. See if someone else there could do it. I'm missing all the hand most of the stuff on the engine or for the engine, I should say. So, they would have to order that from Cato. This engine's not old anything but it is an SD90 math X C S C E F X so anyway let me get that one done up too so now we can move on to this car right here it's a Pacific Fruit Express um Union Pacific car um I got five of these from a guy in the crash train show and they're really nice cars. They're extremely weathered, as you can see. And what I did to them is I patched it out. You can see there's still some letters and numbers left on the side there, which I think is really awesome. Because it just shows, you know, it just shows character. But anyway, and I put reflectors on it um, all the way down. And I patched uh, the uh, information box on it there. And, um, uh, I'm gonna put DME number 7500 and something on it. I'm gonna have all my reefers for DME and 7500 series, so it'll be pretty cool. And I got a lot more of these to go, and I'm gonna get custom DME decals made. And if I get enough made, I could probably put some on eBay or sell them on the YouTube here to you guys if you want some. Um, if you want some, just comment below, actually. You know, say, oh, that'd be cool, and blah, blah, blah. But I'm gonna have those made up. Cost a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Next, we'll move on. Right here. This is my, um, business card I got from a company called Vistaprint.com. Honestly, a good company. Um, all their stuff is pretty dang good for us. I got a set of 250 of these gloss, um, really durable business cards. I mean, these are durable things. Like, I got one soaking wet purposely to test it, and it didn't even tear, so. These are really nice cards. I'm not being a spokesman for them or anything, but if you want to get business cards, like I do, just go to vistaprint.com. Um, anyway. Not a salesman anymore, I guess, but anyway. Uh, the Dakota Minnesota Eastern Channel business cards I made up for my channel on YouTube and Facebook and I've put uh, all my information here and um, my background and such it just used to be my old wallpaper for uh, YouTube it still is for Facebook which I'm not going to change now my new one for Facebook or YouTube is the uh, picture just like this of the uh, DME &E written on the side of one of my Jeep 38 or Jeep 40s which is 403 and, uh, anyway, um, I'll be handing these out to people at train shows and stuff. Hopefully, get my channel more popular so I can get some more help on my way out here and help you guys and, uh, promote you guys and give you shout outs in the video. And, um, almost at 100 subscribers, so thanks a lot. I'm at 97 currently. Um, when I get to 100, I will do a giveaway special. Um, I'm, what I'm planning on is do a box car. I don't know. This is not the box car, but. Do a box car like this, just weathered to crap, and patch it out to DME and give that away. I'm not sure what car yet. Um, I got a bunch of these uh, extrusion box cars, single door and double door. I'm going on nine minutes, so I gotta hurry this up. But anyway, got a bunch of these. I'm gonna patch them out and weather them like crazy. Now we're moving on to the rest of the layout here. Got this section done here, right here. Um, 
almost done, I should say. I still need to add a bunch of gravel and a driveway and a bunch of uh, grass and stuff. And the grain elevator, <laughs> the grain elevator is going to go in the back right here. That says I'm going to sub right here. Um, which grain elevator would be located in Elgin. Still is there, but just not supplied by the railroad anymore. This track is still uh, supplied. Are still used, but they cut cut half the track in half this year, half the line in half. So, um, yeah. And over here is a pond and such. Which I think is pretty dang cool over here. Um, here's a house that a good friend made for me, and he passed away a few years ago from uh, lung cancer. So it means a lot to me about this house, and this is actually my house, and I'm the owner of GMD, so I can rail fan, as you can see, there's a porch down here, and you can rail fan uh, industry or the mainland pretty dang good, and that moves along down here, so I'm going to move down right here, sorry about this, but anyway, this is my roadway. This is Chicago Great Western Line that um, ran to Zombrioto from Rochester. And this is realistically cut right here. That's where they cut it before it hits the road. And right here is a mow area where they keep all the ties and spikes and all that junk and all the crossing, extra crossing there. Just in case the one breaks down. They got an old one there too. But anyway, all that stuff is stored right there. And I made this uh, D-Mini trailer up. It's on Facebook. You can get really good photos. Anyway, I made that trailer out, and it's really cool. Um, if you want to check it out, go on Facebook. I'm my channel on Facebook. Anyway, the road right there, uh, it's almost done. I have white lines on both sides. I need to add a double yellow in the middle, and I added, I'm adding uh, these uh, crossings here, which I have no purpose for these crossings. Get to focus here. No purpose for these crossings here, so I'm just gonna make concrete bases for them out of the same plaster used for the uh, road, which I will do a how-to video on those roads, and I'll give a shout out to the person that uh, helped me uh, create the well, not help create those, but gave me the inspiration to create those kind of roads out of that uh, putty stuff, which is right here. Which I'll I'll show you it all later. Not a problem. Um, when I grid road over to our left, I will show you. Which that'll be next month sometime. So, and I uh, just painted this. I'm gonna gravel this up and put some like little potholes of water in here and put some trees around the track and a bunch of uh, tall grass, some static grass around there. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So. Um, one more thing I would like to go over before this video is not allowed on YouTube. I'm going to go over 15 minutes, so I have two minutes left. I got this um, Sioux Jeep 38 or Jeep 40, I'm not even sure. Oops, I got it from uh, Train Show for 50 bucks. Very nice engine. Um, it's a Proto 2000. Highly detailed. The guy detailed it after he bought it, and I got it for 50 bucks. We're going to really smooth. So that's pretty awesome, and I'm also getting another Jeep 9. It's a Walters with DCC with sound. I'm getting another DCC with sound. So I have two of those engines, DCC with sound. I'm getting them. I'm trading a uh, Great Northern SD7 that is a proto for that one, hopefully. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Um, enjoy. And I always stay on the rails. Um, please visit my uh, YouTube Facebook group on facebook.com um, slash hloscale DMNE channel. Or you could go to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Just click on my YouTube channel. Um, right below my wallpaper, it'll have um, in the right corner, it'll have all of these little uh, boxes that has all my links. Which one's the Twitter, which I don't use currently. I will be starting that up. 
eventually later on this summer, but anyway, one of them will be my Facebook page and my eBay account. I think my eBay is on there, so you can click on my Facebook page, it's a private channel, so please join.